need to revive someone. Teach me how to do it. I tried my own methods, but nothing worked. Using the Hundred Knight's power to move across parallel worlds? I tried to piece together the different parts of the world in an effort to rebuild what happens in ours. But... Just this one person. She's the only one I couldn't revive. <sighs> so you've begun to do things like that. Leah, go back to the swamp. Now. Hey, it's fine, old hag. I don't even need the crystal now. Right now, I'm one with Hundred Knight. One with Blackie. Being away from the swamp for a little bit like this is... That's not the issue. Your health is not my concern here. Huh? <sighs> you don't understand, do you? Jeez, Blackie hasn't told you anything? Hmm? Blackie? I cannot sigh enough. Blackie, did I not say to tell your master? Did you forget on your way home? No. No, this is different. Leah! Did you take that child's name? Huh? What name? Well, well, yeah. Forging a new name is the basis of any contract. Without doing that, it isn't possible to tie this thing down. Even you should know that, old hag. Oh, heavens. Then the hundred knight who can fly between parallel worlds is no different than an ordinary witch soldier. Oh, maybe I was the one who didn't think this through. Wh what What are you talking about? I've no choice. I'll just tell you here. Swamp Witch Metalia, you must fulfill your duty. Use mana and purify the swamps. Purify them all. Purify... the swamps? What are you saying? If I do that... Yes, if you do that, all mana will be lost, and with it, all traces of magic. Your existence, by extension, will also be purified from this world. That is simply what must be done. It all stems from that time. It all stems from that time. When Nike was chopped up and the swamp was born, it all started then. My fate as well. What are you telling me? You want me to... disappear? Correct. We need to purify the swamp. If we do that... Nike cannot revive. I don't get you at all, you old hag. You said I'd become a great witch. That I'd be like the Uruka I admired. You even gave me my new name, didn't you? Metalia! <laughs> What's this? Your body may have grown, but inside, you're still the same girl. You must hurry and return home. Purify the swamp. N no You're kidding me, aren't you? Tell me you're joking, old hag. Hm. Such lousy manners. I can't even leave here to teach you how to properly behave like a lady. What is that Malia doing? Come out, Malia! I know you're here. Huh? So the vomiting whore was here. Master, I... It's hard to listen to you talk like that. 
Return to your original form. What? Now then, Maria. Let's hear an explanation. What happened to the Forest Witch's teachings? Master, I... I can't let Leah purify the swamp. Hmm? What are you saying? After all you've been through? I'm the one who couldn't handle her harsh fate. Not Leah. Not letting her live. Not letting her die. Agitating her, provoking her to use her strong magic in order to purify the swamp. That swamp, Nibble Hene, is hardly at 10% strength. Any more than that will begin to endanger Leah's life. Isn't this enough? You speak as if she has already fulfilled her role as the Swamp Witch. But Maria, you know as well as I, there cannot be a single drop of that swamp in this world. To live in the swamp and to die with the swamp. That is her fate. That fate is not what Leah chose. It has nothing to do with her. I just wanted to set Leah free. Is that why you used Arlecchino to try and kill Leah all those times? Yes. What? That was all you're doing? Shut up, Leah. Leah is my daughter. No, my sister. Or maybe just a friend. I don't have a family, but she's an existence that is just as irreplaceable as you are, Master. No matter how much she despises me now, I'll never forget the Leah from our youth. Bringing up such boring crap now of all times. Well, well, what a trite little story. Witches always live in solitude. You had talent, but as I suspected, it was my failure for only teaching you the basics. Why didn't you brainwash Leah to accept her duty while she was young? I left you more than enough resources to do that. This also means you have lied to me about all that Arlecchino reported. amount of swamp remains, Nike won't die. There is no way to kill him besides purifying the swamp from this world. Nike still leeches life from Medea. If he begins to move again, it won't just be our world that will crumble before him. To realize such a simple truth and to continue holding on to these foolish soap opera stories. Even my power is nearing its limits. That's fine. This is a good opportunity to punish your inadequacy by having you perform a task for me. Do it, Malia. I refuse. Of course you'd say that now. What a pity. Per the witch's contract, I command that Forest Witch Malia performs her promised duty. I will say it again, Malia. Do it! What are you doing to her, old hag? <laughs> Go, Maya. Punish this bad girl who refuses to listen.
So useless. You were lying to me, old hag? From the very beginning? No. She's Urk. She was lying to me. No way. No, this can't be. It's different. This has to be a different world. Yeah, it's different. This isn't the world I want. We still might have enough time. Before I die, I must teach you again and tie you to the swamp once more. a swamp that child emits extensive magic powers I won't go back to the swamp Stay here forever. Instead of me, you should stay here and ensure that Nike remains sealed for all time. Here? Yes, here. Keep Nike sealed forever. Maintain the seal. You will have to use your magic powers. You will keep Nike sealed and the swamp slowly vanish too. Only about 100 years. For a witch, that's nothing. But it should be just enough for you. Your freedom has come to an end. For you to reach this seal must also be fate. Just stay still and accept being the human sacrifice to maintain this seal. Now, now, 
struggling will only make it worse. Perhaps I'll have you die just once. Potion. I can't have anything unexpected happen to you. I made Arlecchino deliver that to you. The secretest secret of all. The book containing the elixir's synthesis method. <laughs> now die, Leah. When you wake up, you'll be a hero and a great witch. But only in picture books and this prison. You'll never be able to see the sun again. But that shouldn't be much of a problem. This place isn't all that bad once you get used to it. <laughs> I... I don't want to! I need to get back to Visco's place. I'm going to leave the swamp and play more. At Visco's place, and in the city. I don't want to be all by myself. The old hag and Malia aren't there. Only I'm there. Leah. Leah. Oops. Did the spell lift already? As expected. Only your defensive magics are first rate. I won't let you do such a thing. I won't let you make Leah the seal sacrifice. What's this soft hearted nonsense? There are some cases where being the villain is the only way to save everyone. I've decided what to do with Leah, and nothing you can do will change it, Malia. What? You can still move? Friendship is as strong now as it was those many years ago. If I knew it would end up this way, I would have told you this from the very start. Time is running out, but listen closely to what I have to say, Leah. Of course I do. 
Orko was a hero. A hero, huh? Some of them were dark heroes. The truth is quite different from the legend. It was about 1,000 years ago. That was when night spontaneously appeared in our world. There was probably no reason why he chose our world. All he wanted to do was consume and destroy whatever world he found. We witches took a stand and found out where Nike was hiding. Turns out, Nike had opened his heart to a maiden. Her name was Aguni. He shared his heart with her, and his destructive tendencies appeared to fade. And with it, you'll need to kill him. As you said, but the maiden would eventually die. And who knows when Nike would grow bored of playing with his mate. How long would that peace last? Until that maiden died? We weren't so optimistic. If they were going to oppose us in time, the method we used didn't matter. Even if we had to use the maiden as our hostage, we knew we had to kill Nike. Uh, hostage? Master, that's... Feel free to criticize me all you want. Anyway, if we didn't do something like that, Nike could never be defeated. After all, he is a god. No, something close to a god. There's no story like that anywhere. I would hope no way the kingdom would make it public that they took a hostage in order to pick a fight with a god. Remember this, Leah. The legend, what is told as truth in books, these can be altered by people's hands however much they want. That is how we began our fight with night in what is now called Yaktolaka Ravine. Hilton Butte, Fahrenheit, Nora, Aramashira, Landarufin, Meranoda, Yaktolaka, Netherland, Didi, Valentine, Dotrish, Helsing. I'll never forget my twelve colleagues. To be only a trace amount of magic in our world, though we have now. Even though we were witches, we didn't have enough power to defeat Nike. Out of necessity, our main forces fought using weapons merely enchanted. A monster like that? With regular weapons? have seen it. Yes, and against that monstrosity, we were hardly able to scratch him. To bolster our numbers, we borrowed troops from the kingdom. We told them that killing Nike would spread mana and help their land flourish. But even that wasn't enough. Normal weapons have limits face of God, we needed bodies that could match him in size and strength. And one of our colleagues came up with the dark method. The dark? Those rotten witches! Rotten, are they? Well, I suppose that's how I described them in the book I wrote. In order to obtain the strong form we yearned for at the time, well, it was the perfect spell for it. I stopped whoever I could, but 
many of my colleagues dip their hands in the dark, as we have come to know it. Some wore out from battle, and others lost their sight. But Token Butte, Fahrenheit, Aramashira, those three had strong convictions to keep Nike contained in this world. I defeated Nike, and as those three lost what remained of their consciousness, they used their magic to seal the pathway to this world. As for me, I spread my doctrine, strictly forbidding witches from getting involved with the dark, to never open a path to another world. But Leah screwed that all up and journeyed off to another world. Or was it Blackie who did such a selfish thing? What? Hundred Knight! When did you do such a stupid thing? Oh, you didn't know, did you? It took advantage of whenever your third eye wouldn't work and fought without telling you. it to be a fighting machine. He caught it just so nobody finds out. Like master, like dog. I think that about sums it up. <laughs> Sounds like you know a whole lot about what it did, you old hag. Third eye talents are exceptional. A barrier so pathetic could never stop me. Well, not like I plan to punish you. There is something more important at play here. I'm relieved, honestly. You released my old colleagues from centuries of pain. We suffered many, many casualties. But we did manage to kill Nike. Or so we thought. We only destroyed his body, his physical form. Nike immediately began to reform himself. On top of that, the mana that spewed from his body was far too dense. Humans could not handle being anywhere near him. Those who made contact with the dense mana broke out in what came to be known as the Green Spot Plague. Innumerable people died. The Green Spot Plague? At that point, disposing of Nike's remains became the duty of all the surviving witches. I sealed Nike's physical form first. Meanwhile, Valentine carved out Nike's bones and made a device to seal the mana. She created certain items to moderate the mana. The Pillars of Temperance. That was about the time she contracted a terrible illness. I took both the large and small pillars and went about scattering the sealed mana across the world. Seal all of the mana. The land where Nike's torso decayed, Nibble Henny, accumulated far too much mana and could not be sealed by a pillar. Nibble Henny? My swamp! Yes. That was the only place we were unable to save. Disposing of all that mana was an impossible task. While I sealed Nike away, I was also researching what to do with the mana swamp. It was long, lonely, and seemingly never-ending research. As I went to the Forbidden Land on my own, I thought for days on end about what to do. And at long last, I found Something that can be born in the swamp, live in the swamp, 
and whose life would consume the swamp. Such a thing would purify it. I experimented repeatedly. I planted seeds enchanted with magic in the swamp and observed their growth one day at a time. Nothing but failure after failure. I was so disheartened I nearly gave up. And then it happened. The one successful experiment was all thanks to Malia. And the one that was born there was you. Now do you understand your purpose? You must live in the swamp and die along with it. That is who you are. It is your fate and the reason for your existence. Curse my name if you wish. But for my fallen colleagues, and for those who died of green spots, I will not yield. I don't have much longer. I've used a bit too much magic. If my life ends, Nike's seal will be lifted. Become my substitute, and the human pillar that maintains this seal, take over my duty. I was born from... a seed? You created me? A bean? A carrot? Fate, huh? Spreading the swamp throughout the world. That is my fate! Don't screw with me, you old hag! I'll never let myself get sealed away in a shithole like this! Listen! Listen to me, Leah! Recently, a creepy fairy has been snooping around this place. When my back is turned, it tries to mess around with the seal. There's no time to waste. This is no time to be selfish, Leah. This is how you can protect the world. Hm. What do I care about the world? I just want to revive Visco. I'm going to play outside with Visco. You want me to stay in this stinky, moldy hellhole to maintain a seal until I die? Who would do that? Don't screw with me! Calm down, Leah. Shut up! I believed in you, old hag. Thought you were on my side. You created me? You're telling me what my purpose in life is? No, 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 no! Hags like you should just die!
master? Oh. Save your breath. I'll heal you right up. Just stay still. on your ransom. I won't show mercy even to you. Oops. Sorry, sorry. I said this isn't the time because the seal will be lifted soon. Mia, that's the fairy. Don't let her get too close to the seal. Enough talking, old hag. You. You became friendly with Leah. Hey, are you okay? Finally! Uruga is finally getting weak! That took way too long! This old lady really is an amazing witch. She never let her guard down. But sucks for you, Uruga! I already lifted the seal! What? How do you like my awesomeness? Great job, Moni! So prepared, Moni! <laughs> Who are you? Hmm? Me? I'm the Swamp Fairy Moni! The one and only absolutely not deceptive at all Swamp Fairy! But when I was a human, People called me Agony. Ah! Uh, Agony! Been a while. Long time no see, Urika. It's me, the sacrificial maiden, Agony. To you, I was the important person who drowned in her own sorrow and died in that swamp. That's me. That's Agony. Using underhanded methods to kill Nike, I haven't forgotten my grudge against you people for one day. That's how Agony rolls. But I was finally able to lift Nike's seal! Gosh, it took such a long time. I was super surprised when Leah took Nike. Well, she took a specific part of Nike. We searched for it for such a long time. But then they found it without even trying. Not like I care about that anymore. A thousand years down to the day after his death, the enigmatic god that travels between worlds, Nike will finally be revived! Oh, I hear him calling out to us. I'm sure he wants to say hello. Just wait a minute, okay? I'll go and get him! Hey! Old Hag! Get a hold of yourself! Hey! Open your damn eyes! Don't half-ass this! Are you trying to kill her, too? I'm doing all I can, but... It's okay, you two. Please, recant your healing spells. It is simply my time. My life is at its end. What are you saying? 
we heal your wounds, then you'll be fine. I know. The elixir. By converting a witch's magic power into life energy, a potion granting immortality can be created. True, but it will have no effect on someone like me who has been depleted of all magic power. Listen to me, Leah. I never did teach you anything, but you must return. Return all things to their natural state. I know that! Utica's book, The Witch Doctrine. I've read all of Utica's books. I can recite them in their entirety from memory. Keeper. With the amount of power you have, you can still reactivate it. Uh, uh, uh. Here, this should be of use. Hey, keep it together, old hag! Worshipping Maiden. That's me, Leah. I died and was reborn. I came back to life as Moni, the Swamp Fairy. And I've been waiting this whole time, traversing the swamp that Nike left behind as unsavory and sad. It's filled with hatred. But that won't be the case anymore. <laughs> Thank you so much, Leah. I was waiting for my chance to break the seal. And honestly, Nike was gonna die for real before much longer. The world's mana was getting drained too much for him to survive. But because you and Honey Knight went out destroying pillars, he was able to stay alive. Both the seal and the surges of mana. Leah, it's all thanks to you. I'm so grateful. We can let Nike revive! <laughs> he wants to meet you all! Please accept this ending, Leah! Stop it! Hundred Knight! Malia! Okay. Okay, you damn old hag. I'll do what you told me. I'll seal this bastard. It's what you were doing all these years, right? Thank you, Malia. Sorry this 
ago. I wanted to revive you, and I even messed with other worlds to do it. It was just impossible. Everyone else came back, except for you. There's still something I can do. Le Leah! What are you doing? Sorry. I'm sorry, Visco. Everyone. Blackie. I'm releasing you from your contract. I give you back the name I took from you on that day. Your name is now. Okay. You're free. Whatever you want. Thank you, Blackie. My loyal partner. Were we saved? Hmm? L Leah? Hundred Knight, where's Leah? Look you? Look, Leah? Leah! Leah! Answer me, Leah! <laughs> <laughs> 